Hi, I'm Jeet from Espresso Tech Sales and Service. Today we're going to do a little video featuring the uh, Sylvia V3 and it's going to be a startup, kind of a take out of the box and what to do when you first get your Sylvia. So first things first, uh, we have the brand new V3 Sylvia right here. Um, some basic operations of it. We have the steam knob here with the ball joint steam wand. Group heads right here. Uh, the drip tray is removable. Once you take the drip tray grating out, you can simply slide out the drip tray. Up top for switches, we have the power switch here. And also the temperature status. If, it, if the light's on, the element's heating, so it's not ready to be used. And if the light's off, it's ready to be used. Um, first at the top, we have the coffee button. Next, the hot water button. And lastly, we have the steam button. Up in the back, we have the water tank lid, along with a removable water tank to take out the water tank, all you simply do is lift up the hoses and then simply pull out the water tank. Uh, it's a little difficult to do if you're underneath the countertop, so most people just use, it, uh, use a water jug or fill it using a hose. Uh, some of the accessories that you get with the machine, you're getting a double spout quarter filter handle. You're getting both double and single baskets, uh, 7 gram and 14 grams, the standard shot sizes. And a few other accessories such as a coffee dosing scoop, tamper, and also a rubber back flushing disc so you can keep your Sylvia nice and clean. So it's not a bad little package to start off with, especially for a beginner or a first time user. So when you first get the Sylvia, it's not going to look exactly like this. Uh, it's going to be in a box, but once you take it out of the box, you're going to find that there's laser film on it. It's kind of a white uh, film on top of the unit. It's also going to be some laser film on the grating, and that can simply be peeled away. You don't have to leave it on unless you like the look of it. So once we peeled away the laser film, you pretty much have where we have right here with the water tank full of water. Uh, you want to fill it to the max line. You don't want to overfill it to the very top of the water tank, because if you do so, it's just going to spill into your machine and get your countertops all wet. So now that we have everything kind of set, water reservoir is full of fresh clean water. Um, we have the power cord plugged in. What we want to do for the first time use of the Sylvia is to prime it. Now this procedure simply just fills the boiler up with water so you can use it and it also flushes out any sort of the scale water that's used um, when testing out the unit. So what you need to do, uh, you can definitely you know fill up your drip tray this way or what I like to do is to have a secondary cup. That way I don't have to empty out my drip tray toss away the cup. So place that underneath your steam wand and then what you want to be doing is turning on the unit, hitting the hot water button after you open up the steam wand. Um, and that way you will pump, pump, pump and it can take upwards to 45 seconds for your boiler to prime. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. Once you see a steady flow of water, your boiler has been primed and you're good to go. So open this up preemptively, turn on the unit as you said, uh, as I said earlier, the light's on if it's uh, heating up. I'm going to hit the pump button just for hot water. So with the hot water button, wa hot water only flows from the steam wand um, and doesn't flow from the group head. So it's going to take a bit of time. Don't get worried. Your machine's not damaged. Um, we've had a couple of people call you know, saying it takes way too long, but it's not a quick 10 second procedure. It can take quite a bit of time because Sylvia does have nearly a half liter boiler, so that's a lot of water to pump through. Alright, just in time, we have it starting to fill up water. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that right now. And I'm going to close up the steam wand. Now if you leave the steam wand open and you hit the coffee button, water will pour out of it, so that's why you want to make sure it's closed. Also, you don't want to be leaving the machine on um, with the coffee, with the steam valve open. It will just overheat. So I'm going to run some water through the group head. And what that does is it flushes out some of the old water that's in there, some of the scaly Italian water uh, that came with the unit. So flush that through. I believe, I forgot the books, I think states run a cup or two cups worth of water, but uh, do as required. So now that we've primed the boiler and we've flushed out the boiler with some water, uh, you're pretty much good to go to let it heat up and then you can go ahead and make your espressos, dispense your hot water or steam some milk. 
but as we sit with this video, you've done the startup, everything's good, you've primed your machine, um, and you're pretty much on your way to making some good espressos. So, thanks for tuning in to our video. Um, if you do like them, subscribe, and that way you'll be updated with the latest videos as they come along.